One of the questions that I had recently was, Keith, how exactly do you stay connected to the community, to the IT world, and how do you keep up to date? So there's a couple basic things that I do, and they're really important. Number one is I invest money on myself. Now, I learned back when I was in my 20s, somebody said, Keith, you should spend 1% to 3% of your income on yourself for training and development of yourself. And I thought, 3%, 1%, I don't want to, really? He told me, this trainer I had, was a student of many, many years ago, he said, if you do that, you will be at the top of your field if you simply invest in yourself. So I thought, I'll do it, and I've done it. So for my entire career, I've spent 1% to 3% of my gross income on personal development. Now, what does that mean? And how's it tied to the question of how do I stay connected in? So conferences. If you are a, if you love Cisco or Juniper or some other vendor, HP, and you want to be tied in, go to their conference every year. They have a conference in most parts of the world and simply go. Is it going to cost you a hotel? Yes. Is it going to cost you airfare? Maybe, unless you want to walk or drive. Is it going to cost for registration? Yes. But Keith, my company won't send me. Well, I, most of the conferences I've been to in my life, I have not had paid for by a, a, my company. I've had to pay for most of them. So what I recommend to do is set a budget. Now, I, I know it's like, well, Keith, wait. We started off with what are the two things you stay connected, and now you're talking about a budget. Set a budget for yourself and set aside every paycheck, all the money that you make, set aside 1 or 2 or 3% for yourself, meaning for personal development. Use that money for books, for training, for conferences. And I find that conferences at least once a year for the vendors that I'm really interested in is very, very important. Okay, another way that I stay connected is I give back to the community. I'm a big proponent of, of Cisco's Learning Network. Now, on Cisco's Learning Network, it's free to subscribe, and there's just hundreds of people, thousands, actually, I think hundreds of thousands of people on that site asking questions, everything from you know, the basics to the advanced. And it's just it's great to give back. So as you look at questions that other people are asking, if you don't know the answer to a question, you could study it or learn it or look at the responses that other people are giving. And that's another way to stay really, really connected. So two things. Number one, attend a conference every year. Don't miss one. And second, find a way to give back by assisting somebody. And if you don't have a forum that you're a member of, go donate some time. Uh, go to a community college or go to a school and see how can I assist. What can I do? For zero money back, meaning zero remuneration, nothing coming my way, how can I assist? You'll find that as you give your time to others in the field you're in, donate your time, and as you attend at least one conference a year, you'll stay connected and opportunities abound. Every single conference I've ever gone to, without exception, I've had significant connections and friendships and knowledge gained that I wouldn't have gotten any other way. So I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.